I want to read something to you. A family member of mine has sent me a video. And um, I took a look at it. And out of all the things that I've seen and heard, there was one thing that did get my attention. And the word of God came to my mind. So I want to read that to you. And because it's in reference to um, two of Jamaica's iconic musicians, they themselves say, a lot of Jamaicans call them iconic. Um, I want to read it from this Bible. Ota, our language. Okay. So we're going to take a look at it. Good morning. So we're going, we're going to take a look at it. And um, we're going to break it down. John 15. All right, so it's John chapter 15. We're going to start at verse 18. Let's read it together. So we're going to read it in the English proper first. If the word, Jesus know, if the word, he's talking to his disciples, his followers. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Let's look at it over here. The worldly and them, yet Jesus follower them. If the people them in the world, yet uno, Remember, so them did eat me first. If uno did come like the people them in the world, them would have loved uno like a, how them love them una people. But uno not coming like, like the people in the world. Because me pick uno out from amongst them. And it make them eat uno. Yeah. So what am I talking about? Well, let's take a look. It gives me great pleasure to make these two acknowledgements. For Bounty Killer, Rodney Price, and Bean Man, Moses Davis. in the spirit of unity in the spirit of our creativity he's right he's right when he says in the spirit oh they've definitely performed performed their songs wrote their music Many stage show performances down through the years. Mm -hmm. He's right. It was in the spirit. These two gentlemen have created a music genre. They have created pop culture. They have contributed to Jamaica's pop one moment, Mr. Prime Minister. One moment before you say so. Before you gonna say contributed to Jamaica's popularity. Yes, they have. But we go back it up a little bit and look on what else have they contributed to our nation, our people. Degregation. Lewdness. 
encouragement of doing drugs. Oh, you forgot. Marijuana is still a drug, you know. St. Semina is still a drug, you know. Weed is still a drug, you know. It has negative side effects, you know. Despite what this woke medical science new class of professors want to teach that there's a medicinal positive benefits. If that was the case, then it would have been created in the beginning when God created the whole earth. That was not a part of the creation. Oh, weed came after. Weed. Ganja. It came after the flood. But before the flood? Adam and Eve Cain and Abel on them Monday. Noah on his son them. They were not engaged in marijuana. But anyway, back to being a man on Bounty Killer. Let's stay on topic, right? So, they've contributed to the slackness in our nation, the slackness in our country. But you don't want to talk about that. You, you, don't, want to, you don't want to highlight those negative things. No, none of y'all do. None of you do. But hey, I'll raise my hand first. I, I grew up in that. I was born into that. I was born into that era, into that generation of musicians. Bauticilla, Bineman, Caperton, Berries, um, Luciano, Sizzla. Um, so, too many names to mention. Too many names. Wayne and Wonder, Frisco Kid, Biebisham, Elephant Man, Scare Them Crew, you know what I'm saying? Shocking Vibes, all of them. Vegas, General Degree, all of, all of Too many names. Tanya Steven, Lady Sad. You know, Red Rock. I was born into that. I'm an 80s baby. I used to dance to their songs. I used to DJ their songs. You know, I used to buy their albums. Like, literally, buy the album from VP Records when I used to live in Queens. I go to VP Records. You know, down this up on Jamaica Avenue, that was like 170 something street, something like so. Um, when I, when I go in there and buy them records, and then some other time, a lot of the time actually, now that I think about it, I'd, I'd even buy the, the mixtapes, the mix CDs. Yeah, them days they're gone once upon a time. So I grew up in that era, I grew up in that life, I grew up in that world. I was a part of that world until the Lord called me out. And I graciously, happily accepted his invitation and came out of darkness and into his marvelous light. It's when I began to walk with Christ, then I began to understand, wow, what the music was was doing to me and how it was training me and teaching me and molding me and I see how it is today affecting the minds and the lives of young children 12 years old 11 years old 13 years old 80 years old yeah yeah, Pastor Lewis, Pastor G. Craig Lewis from EX Ministries talks about this a lot. And he has done extensive research, extensive study, um, receive a plethora of knowledge and information and, and, and wisdom and um, about how this thing works, music. And um, I have... If you haven't seen some of the videos that I have, you know, created months ago, maybe a year ago also, um, you know, I was having a, you know, a back and forth with a, a, a sister of mine in Christ, uh, Miss Campbell, 
big up yourself anywhere there in a Jamaica, anywhere there in the world. Because she, you know, she challenged me, you know. She she and I pretty much shared similar interest in um, the topics that we had. And, you know, because of her, she pushed me. And, you know, I've, I've put up some videos before where we, me and her were both talking about music, dealing with um, the atmosphere and the... The, the, the power, the influence of reggae music, dancehall music has in our Jamaica because it's not talked about. It's not talked about often outside of Jamaica. I'm outside of Jamaica. I'm live Yasso in America. She's she's living there. And so there's not many voices and not many persons that I've seen on YouTube talk about these things, talk about the musicians, and I guess they are afraid to, you know, of the backlash, but she's not afraid, and neither am I afraid to call these things out and call them what it is, it is sinful, um, and, and these guys are puppets, and a lot of them don't know that they're puppets of Satan, but they are, you know, um, a frog that's in a boiling water in the pot doesn't know that they're being boiled in this pot, you know, in the water, on the stove. They don't know, right? Because it's a condition and, it, you know, it's a slow process over time, but eventually they're boiled. So I hate that. Um, just wanted to throw that part in there because I almost forgot. I'm not exempt. I grew up in that life, in that world. I once danced to these songs, bought the music, supported their music. Uh, I've never been to one of the stage show performances never never um that was never a goal of mine to do never wanted to um but definitely had their music blasting in my vehicles down through the years in my headphones down through the years um you know seeing the videos dance to dance i've, I've done i've done those dances you know zip it up dance the crazy hype kill him with the hype all that um, you know, um, I want you to dance or be in the fine again. I've done those dances. Um, done them to those songs. You know, Scooby Doo, Sing Out a Play and Heal and Tour. Um, uh, some of them not even remember the name of them, but been there done that I don't want to be in the world anymore right the world is passing away it's fading Jesus said so the world and everything in it get into the ark that ark is Jesus Christ because everybody outside of the ark not gonna make it mm -hmm. but I'll let you continue you you, you celebrating there accolades and achievements of what they have brought to to Jamaica. Go ahead, continue Mr. Prime Minister. Popularity around the world. They are icons of our music and our culture. They are icons of our music and our culture. On behalf of the people of Jamaica, we wish to acknowledge your work and contribution to Jamaica. Well, we came from Rivals and no to iconic Hydals. Zaga. God is good. God is good. Respect. And so now to wrap it up, you heard that, seen that, and now you know that. I, I just wanted to lift out that part of. 
the video that I had watched. There's a lot of foolishness, other foolishness in the video, but this, this one, this one just caught my attention and it made me say, wow, God, your word is the truth and it is settled in heaven forever. It would be awesome. It would be awesome like Marion Hall, formerly known as Lady Saw, if these two men, these two grown men, these two iconic musicians um, of Jamaica and in Jamaica's history as musicians would truly surrender their lives and their hearts to the almighty Lord God Jesus Christ. And not not to please me, not to please Christians. No, this this is not what this is about. But just to come to the knowledge, the true knowledge, and come into a real relationship, holy, feel righteous, feel relationship with Christ. Okay, it's a relationship that I myself is on a journey, is on my Christian walk with the Lord. I'm on my own journey. But nothing is wrong with saying to others who I'm passing by, hey, you, you want to come that way here with me? I'm going to on the good road, and I'm going to on the street and narrow road. Yeah, this is the right road. Because that road that we're you're upon, it's only leading to destruction, misery, anguish, depression, frustration, bondage. Notice Jesus said, he chose, he's talking to his disciples, his followers. He said, I chose you out of the world. And I pray that who, whom God is calling, whom the Lord is calling out of the world, that they will accept his call, accept his invitation. Because the prime minister is right. These two men, and they're not the only ones. They're not the only ones that has contributed to um, Jamaica's um, music industry, that genre that the Prime Minister mentioned. They've contributed to the genre of music, the arts. They're not the only ones. But they are definitely titans in the game. They are two giants. They are. Just that, that was their day of being acknowledged. You know, um, what was it? Maybe a, two years ago, three years ago, Wayne Marshall was applauded, lifted up, elevated, and acknowledged for his contributions to the genre of music. Okay. Um, when I was in Jamaica, Mansipia <laughs> Shandia, who was released from prison after 13 years, Adija Palmer. And three hours after his acquittal, Cartel stepped out of a prison in downtown Kingston into freedom to the embrace and chance of adoring fans who were under the watchful eyes of the security forces. <laughs> The 48-year-old artist who is battling ill health had a message for Jamaica's youth as he boarded a limousine. This is quite comical because the very thing that he's telling the youth to stay out of is the very thing that he endorses, promotes, and contributes in a Jamaican society and in the minds of the youth and is what got him locked away for 13 years. And he is celebrated and loved by many. And he's another icon. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> he's another icon and giant in Jamaica who has also influenced the minds 
behavior, personalities of the people. Anyway, I just, just, just wanted to highlight and lift that up. And I already know how this thing goes. Once you start mentioning one of these musicians from Ulta, Jamaica, the people are going to come for you. They're going to come. They're going to come and start lamb blast me, try to crucify me. I'm already crucified in Christ. You can't do me nothing. Them come and start, you know, with them baga baga cussing. It's okay. I'm supposed to be cussed. I'm supposed to be attacked. Because I'm going against the green. And I'm lifting up Christ and the word of God. If I'm not attacked, and if, you know, I have not offended the world... then I'm doing something wrong. Now, my intention is not to offend, but truth does offend. And these two guys are of the world. You know, I wouldn't have said nothing. I, I promise you, I wouldn't have said nothing if it wasn't for the two things that I heard. And that was one from the prime minister saying, these are icons who have contributed. And the crowd, you see the crowd of people are celebrating that, which, they're going to. They're of the world. I understand that. But you know, when you're no longer in the world, you, 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 you see things differently now. You see things how God sees it because you're no longer in the world. That's one. Number two, the second thing that, you know, got my attention where I wouldn't have said nothing is when Beanie Man said, God is good and then everybody else repeat the other phrase of it. God is great. God is good. God is great. Which God? Which God do Moses Davis, aka Beniman, is referring to? It's not the God of Abraham, it's not the God of Isaac, it's not the God of Jacob, it's not the God of Moses. Remember that God who talked to Moses out of the burning bush, tell him to come up on the mountain and talk to him for 40 days and 40 nights? It's not that God. It's not that God of Elijah and Elisha. It's not that God of Daniel, Meshach, Abednego, Shadrach. It's not that God of Jeremiah. It's not that God of Hosea. Hosea, who was with a prostitute, his wife became a prostitute, was a harlot. She was for the streets. And God tell him to stay with her, have a family with her. Is not that God that Moses Davis is referring to. Anyway, that is it. I'm out. Continue living on godly purpose.